G'day everyone. This is going to be a bit of a shorter one. A little while ago, I made a video about clocks and why, when the time is on the hour, we call it o'clock. And I went into briefly the history of time telling from the development of the sundial to the 24 hour day, to hourglasses and water clocks, to mechanical and then modern and contemporary clocks. Wait. You're not making another video about clocks, are you? Yes, I am. It's my channel and I will do what I want. Once that video was done and out, I realised that I missed a question that I wanted to answer, which is what this video is about, if you hadn't already gathered by the title. Uh, today, we're going to be discussing the question, what does AM and PM stand for when it comes to telling time? So yes, we're having another video about time. It might just be me, but I think that taking a look at how humans have interacted with the measurement and telling of time is just super interesting. Humans love to work things out and make sense of the world. And time is one of the things which is very unusual to measure. We live on this wobbly planet orbiting a star. From that we've established days as one rotation of Earth and years being 365.25 and a bit days. The invention of the hour is from the Earth's perspective, much more recent. Ancient civilizations such as the Babylonians and Egyptians came up with the 24 hour day. And these were generally split into two 12 hour halves, which were adopted across different ancient civilizations. Solar midday is when the sun is at its highest point in the sky and when the shadows will be shortest or possibly non-existent because they're underneath you, depending on where you are in the world. It's the point where, from our point of view, the sun stops rising from the horizon and starts setting towards it. This is midday, and 12 hours after midday is midnight, where in theory, there is an equal time between dusk and dawn. Of course, due to our time zones and other factors such as daylight savings time, our clock's midday doesn't often align with solar midday. But in the ancient world, midday aligned with solar midday. I don't know who first denoted midday with a 12, and if you know, please send me the sources. But our system of telling time was essentially developed by the Romans. So that's who we're going to think about. After centuries of thinking about the hours in a day in different ways, the Romans ended up with their 12 hour clock, which is effectively what we use today, with 12 being midnight or noon, and with the new day starting at midnight. They also considered times during their day as being before midday or after midday, which was helpful when specifying which hour you're talking about. And this is where we get AM and PM, their abbreviations. Romans spoke Latin. Meridian is the Latin term for midday, when the sun is at its highest point in the sky. Some style guides actually say that when you're referring to 12 o'clock midday, the abbreviated form is 12M, M for meridian. But you'll do well to find a real example of this. So AM is before midday, and that's literally what it means. AM stands for ante meridian. Ante being before and meridian being midday, before midday. And PM is after midday, which is literally what it means. PM stands for post meridian, post meaning after. So AM stands for ante meridian, meaning before midday, and PM stands for post meridian, meaning after midday. There is discussion about what you should call 12 o'clocks. Some style guides state that you should just say midday and midnight to avoid any confusion. But generally speaking, the new day begins at midnight and is therefore before that day's midday. So midnight is 12 a.m. and the p.m. is midday because what else would it be? And you might be thinking, why does it go 12 and then one? Why is there no zero? Well, that's because when the idea of two 12 hour halves make up a 24 hour day, the idea of zero as a number hadn't been conceived yet. But that's a story for another time. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope this video has given you a little more of an edge next time you find a question about time telling at a trivia night and that it's given you just a little bit more appreciation for the things 
we don't even think about in our day-to-day -day lives. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love to know in the comments below and make sure you're subscribed to That's Pretty Cool Where. I don't always discuss topics as beige as the origin of AM and PM, but I do engage with topics that inspire me in a sense of curiosity and wonder. That's all for now. Thanks again. Take care, stay curious, and I'll see you next time.